Well, tonight, new information about a chaotic shooting on I-10 Sunday night. A little girl shot in the back seat of her mother's car. Police say the shooter was her own father, 39-year-old Robert Hooper. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey is live tonight with news that the father is also accused of using another type of weapon that night as well, Andrea. Yeah, Greg and Kim, that alarming shooting taking place along I-10 here. Records show that Hooper not only fired multiple shots into a car full of people, but also tried to crash it by ramming his Jeep into it multiple times. And she still got a smile. I just thank God that she's here right now. Tonight, the shooting victim's uncle says his nine-year-old niece is as well as can be expected after being shot in the arm. You know, just thank God that she's here. Just be thankful that she's here, grateful that she's here. Police say Sunday night after a heated custody exchange, Robert Hooper fired multiple shots at the car his daughter was in. The target of the shooting, a family member tells NBC 15 News, was the girl's stepfather. Court records show Hooper also rammed his Jeep Grand Cherokee multiple times into the car. A Jeep Grand Cherokee at the police impound lot today had a blown out front tire and damage to the passenger side. Some people just can't be friends, you know what I mean? Just some people, if they can't have, then no one can have. It's just one of those situations. Hooper is a convicted felon and not allowed to have a firearm. Friday before the shooting, he bragged on social media about a new gun, calling it, quote, his new toy. A day after the shooting, he posted DOC dead on contact. Now it's crazy that her own dad has shot her. Uh, Hooper is being held in Mobile Metro Jail tonight. He's due in court tomorrow for a bond hearing. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.